We get to choose one record to watch in the meantime. What do you want to watch? Can I recommend we watch a world record or a map you haven't seen? Personally, I think one of the sickest records, or one of the sickest maps with a skip, is Remaster. Let's watch Bren here. Starts with the underwater part, and then you got a long plastic section. With ever so slightly wet tires, you plastic wall bang, get to the dirt, and that's a hard plastic wall bang, because you want to hit the corner. Hitting the corner is actually the best way to do that. No game audio? No, we don't. We don't have game audio, but I, I can't set up my scene like that in time. Flip here for low air time? What? Is wall banging allowed? Everything's allowed. Serrator builds these maps with tricks in mind. It is a free-for-all. Do what makes you fast. Now, the very important thing on this map is that you get a lot of speed in this section here, after the holes, because you need a double water bounce shortcut in the ending. So you go across here, you see the pipe, well, guess what? It's slower to drive it. You want to water bounce, water bounce, drift into ice slide. That's what we want to do. But I see the cast is live again. So let's not hold up. Let's not waste a moment. Let's get back to the broadcast. Uh, oui, oh, wait. Direct, hein. direct du, uh... Interview is starting. On est en direct du sommet de la montagne et ce n'est pas Inoxtag au sommet de la montagne. Nous sommes en direct Quatre guerriers qui sont au sommet de la montagne puisque Artanir, trop fort. Alors, lui, un casteur de talent avait pronostiqué ta victoire. Co comment t'as vécu le match Comment t'as vécu le match maintenant Et comment tu es heureux d'être dans le grand grand final J'arrivais pas du tout au début et j'étais super euh, shaky. Dans le début, j'étais shaky. J'ai réussi à me remettre dans le match. Le map pack était très bon pour moi. Et donc, euh, surtout première étoile. And then he uh, clutched uh, Premier at all. How are you translating it? I am acting on instinct. What I would ask if I was the commentator. I have no idea what they're saying. Are you excited about the cash prize? Okay. Mais je suis à Montpellier. Allez, ça c'est bon, ça c'est bon. Notre. Euh, celui qui s'est qualifié en quatrième, mais euh, qui nous a montré des très belles choses. Janik Janik, ça oh, fait plaisir. Oh, my camera's not working En plus, des fans dans le public. Oh, wow. hein. Comment t'as ressenti aussi My camera's not working when I. On est passé, on est passé I... pas grand chose. Ah, C'était chaud, hein. J'ai envie de dire un peu comme d'habitude finalement. <laughs> Et comment t'as vécu um, le match Est-ce que c'était un match qui te plaisait Est-ce que c'était des... Qu comment tu l'as ressenti euh, Au début, je l'ai très mal vécu. Parce que finalement, le map pack, si tu prends sur une tier list les maps, les 4-5 premières maps qui sont tombées, c'était vraiment toutes celles qui m'allaient pas, qui étaient roulantes, avec du bitume, qui s'étaient ah, pas mon style. Ah, oui, on a eu un petit peu grâce au... T'es un mec technique, jeux. toi. Ouais. Et puis après, j'ai commencé à retrouver le sourire avec première étoile. Oh <rire> Encore une fois. Juste par contre, reste toujours à Ryu. Excuse-moi, je leur ai dit, pourtant ils ont pas suivi. Je vous prends la parole 5 minutes. Juste, si tu pouvais dire à Jalik, c'est quand même mon favori. Je l'avais dit. Voilà, si vous pouvez. Et ensuite, après le sourire, éclat de joie sur la scène. Qui était ma map préférée après première étoile. Et ça, c'est fort. Et c'est fort. C'est un sourire. So he likes première étoile. That's fair map. Mais formidable, ça me fait très plaisir. En plus, je trouve que tu as, as montré une très belle résil résilience parce que début de match compliqué et comme d'hab, hein, c'est sou souvent un marathon. Et, euh, et là, tu l'as très bien joué. Uh, the we... Oh, oui, j'ai une idée. Très yes. bonne chance à toi et le public euh, hurle de plaisir en te voyant jouer. Donc, ça, c'est derrière. On va tout donner. J'ai une idée, idea, which is crazy, but it might work. Le, le prochain, mesdames et messieurs, il nous vient de G J1. Banks, t'as été trop fort. Ah, je le dis. T'as été trop fort, comment tu l'as ressenti ton match T'as été très Un régulier, moment. limite quasiment ah, pas inquiet. Euh, le début a été très bon. J'étais. Oh, it works, this is genius. Uh, guys, I'm gonna get my camera back. Du coup, bah, ça, un peu... For whatever reason, I can't add my camera, but I can add my camera scene. J étais... J étais... J plus trop so I'm adding my camera scene bah, to the scene. Étoile, bon, bah... Ça suffit <laughs> 
On n'en peut plus de cette pape de merde <rire> Les bandeurs tu... de grass slide <rire> Les Serrator is saying a tall's map Co is really bad, Co but... Comment tu... Moi, c'est une question que j'aime bien poser à des joueurs de votre calibre-là. Comment built tu gères la pression Serrator built all the maps except for one, and the one he didn't build is the guy's favorite. I would be mad too. Tu joues ta pression, parce que tu l'as quand même très bien géré. Bah, moi, j'essaie vraiment de rester focus sur mon, sur mon écran. J'essaie de pas, de pas trop regarder euh, à côté et de vraiment me... Juste me penser qu'à ça. Et euh... après, bon, évidemment, les doigts ils tremblent un peu, mais oh. on arrive à, à limiter la casse. Parce que vraiment, je voyais quasiment okay, aucun good. signe de frustration sur ton, enfin, sur, ton, sur ton visage très concentré. One second, one second. Donc, bravo Almost à there, à Montpellier Merci. et en finale tout à l'heure. Formidable. Et le dernier, le dernier, non des moindres, notre site 1. I'm back, I'm back. Euh... Celui qui nous avait fait Ooh. rêver sur Plastico et celui Hello. Euh, qui nous a montré des très belles choses. That was difficult, déjà, but I made it. Comment t'as vécu ton match T'as été fort So just to uh, recap the questions here. Au début, mais ensuite tu nous as montré. Bah écoute, ça va. Um, J'ai euh, très bien commencé mon match. Ensuite, they asked euh, him. How did you feel about your first match He said it was shaky at first. Au tout début, un peu pour moi. Then he asked, how do you feel about the final? And he said, we'll see. I'm gonna give my everything, but at least I'm qualified for the grand final, Montpellier. In uh, October, uh, he asked Cholik, and he said, Cholik said he felt very bad at first. I'm a grass guy, so the first maps were bad for me, but then all good on Premier et Uh Etol said you were so good. Uh, how did you feel to Binks? And Binks said he was really good at first, then not that good, and then he stayed consistent, and then also loved Premier et all. Que je trouve logique, on verra plus tard. Et bah, aussi, on te retrouvera à Now they're talking to Walsall. He said he started his match really well, and then he started to fall a bit back, but he's happy he's been able to qualify. I'm, I'm getting live translations from the production, they are amazing. Can we get some hearts in chat for production? There, there, there's people sitting and translating for me, so I can translate to you. Very cool. He also asked Wosal who he thinks will win the second semi-final. And Wosal said Offi. Wosal said Offi. We shall see. Let's hear this interview. Yeah, well, I really tried hard to qualify. I really wanted to qualify. English. As soon as the event got announced, I was immediately very hyped. Moi, c'était plus une bonne surprise. What? Attendez, est-ce qu'il y a rien après du coup Bercy? Je pense que dans la demi deux, on a tous le niveau. C'est vrai que ça fait peur parce qu'il y a les plus grands noms, on va dire, de track mania. Je suis vraiment dans la la demi la plus compliquée, je pense. C'est quand même des des gros joueurs qui ont quasiment tous déjà fait des scènes. Bah honnêtement, le tournoi, je l'aborde vraiment de façon vachement détente. Chad. Je préfère quand même quand il y a du prestige. Quand même. Bon, c'est ça, Chad. Tous les joueurs vont tout donner pour essayer d'accéder au cash prize qui peut bah, changer la vie de certains. Et le cash prize, c'est évidemment euh, participatif qui est exceptionnel. C'est peut-être euh, la dernière chose que je regarde euh, au vu de l'événement. Jouer devant du public, je sais pas encore, vu que ça n'est jamais arrivé, on va voir ce que ça va faire. The French crowd is always insane at Trickmania events. It's just absolutely incredible. There's no other event in comparison. Avant tout, on est là aussi pour vivre des émotions. Moi, ce que je veux, c'est participer, être sur toutes les scènes et, et participer à Montpellier. I can hopefully achieve my goal and make it to Montpellier. Je suis là pour vivre ça, maman. Ooh. I like that they ended the interview with Carl. And just one short quote. Carl Jr., if you guys don't know, if you guys don't watch Trickmania Esports a lot, Carl Jr. is the most winning player of all time. He is the Michael Phelps, the Usain Bolt, the Faker, if you want to do League of Legends. He's the GOAT, okay? He's the GOAT. Five-time world champion, and he's also won five tournaments that Serrator has hosted. The Serrator Cup, which is also really prestigious. The absolute goal. No one's close in terms of overall winnings. And Carl Jr. is playing the semi-final. The expectation is that he's going to go through. It's a very bad idea to want to bet against Carl Jr. But I think we should start a prediction for who you think will make it to the final. Who will make it first? These are your players. Gwen, Glost, Granati, Offi, Bren, Otak, Heave, and Carl Jr. Six TMDL players and two clear underdogs in Heave and Glost here. Just because the others play the competitive league, the top 16 in the world. 
And uh, Heaven Gloss, they could be better on this Raider maps, but they are going up against some Titans. I think any of the TMGL players are going to be pretty level, but it's very hard to say how Heave and Gloss compare against them. Carl Jr. has an intoxication and is not that in, in good condition. Okay, that's interesting. Hopefully he gets a swift recovery. Serrator said he's in a bad shape, quite ill, but they trust him to get better for Lille if he can't perform today. We're starting with the presentation here with Gwen, one of the fastest players, like, in this tournament. He just has a lot of world records on the maps. So, and his best map, New Money, he has um, the world record on as well. There, there were more world records that he has. Of course, his, one of his biggest accomplishments is his solo win of the Serrator Cup. But also his dual win in 2022. Grenati for Berlin International Gaming. Alles gut, alles klar. I can even hear Janik clapping like like this through the wall for Grenati just now. <laughs> cool to hear, but um, yeah, Grenati is also being presented. It's a loud round of applause. His best map is La saint Cilion, which is the uh, ice map that was decided on. Bren! Also crowd favorite, easy to treat for Bren, such a wholesome guy. Great competitive spirit and really, really good at Trackmania as well. Could be a big solo victory for him. As I believe his wins in Serrator Cup have been from duos. Granati best on ice. Well, the map has one ice turn, but he is good at it, apart from that, too. And what what he will do, by the way, is he plays on the steering wheel, right? For that last turn, he reaches out his hand and taps it on keyboard. Like, he just presses it on his keyboard. And he does that for another map, too, that doesn't have ice or anything. Just to kneel slide. It's crazy. Man sits with one hand on the steering wheel and one on the keyboard. Heave here. You can see the uh, accolades are not as uh, in as big tournaments, but he has won some, gotten on the podiums. Clearly an underdog in this, but I, th I really think anything can happen. Glass as well. Second in Serrator Cup 22. With his teammate. Afi winning Serrator Cup last year together with Gwen. Also second in uh, stage one of Grand League with Aurel this year. Big accomplishment. And his favorite map is the dirt one actually. The, the one with the bug slides from last game. Otak, dude, he's kind of built. Otak's bringing guns on stage. Goddamn. Absolute unit. His favorite map is Piramarivé. And then we have Carl Jr., the current GOAT of Trackmania. And likely to be for a long time, even if he retires. Has won the World Cup five times, has won the Serrator Cup five times. This is Serrator's last Trackmania tournament for the foreseeable future. Carl wants to end it with a bang. So good when it matters. How is the Pura map their most liked? I think it's the fact that there's no, like, weird obstacle. The ending stretch with all the logos, it's really difficult, but it's pure skill-based. And Carl Jr. on maps where he can, like, weave between obstacles, it, it, he's so good on them. And it's how he's won a lot of Serrator Cups, is just crushing on those maps. Serrator Cups are ending? Yeah, this is Serrator's last big tournament. Gwen 
rappers to enter the stage. Now Granati. We will see how he's set up with the steering wheel. Ram entering the stage, big smiles. Heave. Also taking a seat. Oh, drops a heart. Or maybe a pyramid. Upside down pyramid. Drops a square picture? That's a rectangle. I know my Greek geometric shapes. Sorry. Otak barely, like, squeezing his muscles through the door there. Looked like they didn't consider how built he was to get through that, that doorway. And now Carl Jr. The goats on stage. Six TMGL players, two underdogs in glass and heave. Top four make it to the finals later today. There it is, the steering wheel. Such an interesting setup. And he needs his keyboard close because he's going to use it. He's going to be using it in the game. <laughs> Hopefully uh, mods and stuff can help me with the title and everything. Because I want to lock in on this cast. Did he bring a steering wheel from home? Absolutely he did. There's no way he's going to play on a new uh, device. So yeah, that's his same steering wheel that he's uh, been practicing on. Same as uh, players bringing their controller and whatnot. And it is kind of good that they have separated desks because there have been lands. You see how much he's flicking the wheel? There have been lands when he flicks the wheel so aggressively that it like shakes the desks of people around him if the tables are connected. So it's very important that they're like independent units so that he's not, you know, a disturbance to people around him. Because he will, he will like, like jerk that thing, you know, he will full left, full right. You gotta be quick in Trackmania. <laughs> oh god. He will yank. Yank that thing. English is not my first language. I think I've been clear about this. But it's not better. <laughs> it's not my second language either. Uh, habla español? As a mi uh, 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 live stream, bienvenidos. All right, no guys, enough messing around. Let's get in game. I will disappear from the screen. Enjoy the game. Enjoy my cast. Let's uh, fully focus up on the game. Best of luck to the players. See who makes it to the final. Shall we begin? What does the prediction say? A lot are predicting Gwen and Granati to qualify first. That is one focused man. Even practicing the keyboard it looked like. Glenn, as well, getting his last preparations, heave on keyboard. Four buttons is all you need. We 
Guys, don't know Gwen. There's a clip on YouTube of Gwen playing Trackmania when he was four. Four years old in 2008. Where his father recorded it. And he was doing things like drift cancels when he was four. This man has grown up with Trackmania. He's only 19, I believe now. And he is just so insane at the game. This man is the future of the game. I keep saying it. You're gonna see him be world champion one day. I fully believe it. Look at this. He's neo sliding through these turns. And the next one, too, he needs a neo slide. So he has to quickly break. He has to quickly start steering, stop steering, break, and start steering. And he cannot do that on steering wheel fast enough. The mechanic is really hard on steering wheel, but on keyboard you can do it instantly. So that's why he uh, he changed his device there to guarantee a mechanic called the neo slide. It looks like he isn't even playing on a mechanical keyboard. That looks like a membrane keyboard. Am I wrong? That's also very interesting. It's mechanical with low keycaps. It looked more flat than like a mechanical one. But that makes sense. Calm before the storm here. Just letting the players get ready on their setups. I love this like low key, like Western duel music we got going. It's about to be a showdown. Sets the tone. Who do you guys got? Who do you believe in? I think for this uh, semi-final, I predicted Carl Jr. to be the first qualifier. I did predict Carl Jr. Because I have made a mistake of betting against Carl before. And he just performs when it matters. But we will see. A lot of people in chat have Gwen as their top choice for qualifying first. Granati second at thereafter and Carl third most believed in. Many are saying Carl is not at his top because he has a full-time job. Could be. I just know this guy competes at his very best when put under pressure. And most of the time he tends to win. For the last 10 years. Mm. 
Comment il est devenu Je crois que c'est vrai. Je vous parlais du cache tout à l'heure, le cachet, on s'est attendu des joueurs. Are we going in? Oh, we're explaining the format again. So guys, if you didn't see the prize pool earlier, the total prize pool is 128,000 euros. Right now we're in chapter one, the challenge. The winners of today get a total of 19,200 divided between them. You can see how it's distributed. The same will be the case for the Revenge, which happens in about two months from now. And then the Ascent, the major tournament in Montpellier, has a grand prize for first place of 62,000 euros. And that is more money in one tournament than anyone has ever won in this game all time. That will be the single biggest prize anyone's ever gotten. Where does the money come from? It's crowdfunded by Serrator's community. Every single subscription you got on Twitch also added two euros to the prize pool. And his community went well with support. And Chauffemo, I think, means warm-up in French. So one warm-up round the players are playing right now, and then we are going live, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> on Pneumonie. Which is Gwen's favorite map. And if that is one he can perform on, you might see him get off to a flying start here. Pretty sure we are moments away from getting this started. Players are completing the warm up now. Oh god, that's loud. Sorry, it's that is very loud. I apologize. I didn't see it until I... That is quite loud, right? <laughs> Should be good now. We are underway in the first round. Where are we? No, this is Etoile's playing. So he is driving what a normal player might drive through this map like. Went the wrong way down the continental tire. Okay, gets the checkpoint. Now he has another tire to overcome. Gets the transition. And then he's going through the Neo slide section. Does he know his Neos? No. Drops the horn. <laughs> Almost gets the Neo. Does he even know the path through the cave? It can be quite confusing. I know he went the wrong way. He's gonna face plant here. <laughs> he got baited. <laughs> Oh, that is not- oh, he found it, he found it, he found it. Pretty good run! For his first, uh, first discovery. Oh, he touched freeway. Yes! Bronze medal! 
huge. Ale sounds like let's go. Second semifinal starting now. Tell your friends. After this, the top four players will advance to the final and face off against One moment, I lost the tab. Here we go then. Warm up ending. They will face off against Arthenir, Binks, Wosal, and Chalich, who are patiently waiting for this semi-final. I mentioned this is Gwen's favorite map. He has the world record on it, a 52-7. And Carl Jr. is off to a little bit of a wonky start, but you can see on the splits there, Gwen in first place. Already two tons ahead before he fell off the tire, though, respawn. And that does let Otak overtake for first. Now into the Neo slide section here. Two Neo slides. Otak gets the first one really well. And the second one as well. In between the pillars here, different lines being driven, but you gotta get the same ending. Very sharp turn here. Brad catching up to two players. Might get the third. He has a lot of speed. But he clips, and that's gonna cost him so much with the engine offs here. Just has to crawl to the checkpoint. Glust will be the one winning the first round. And Gwen does get fourth there, despite the big respawn. So a lot of players starting with a mistake. A lot of nerves coming through. Second round underway, an opportunity to fix the mistakes of the first one. Carl Jr. is off to a much better start this time. Matching the start of Offie and Gwen up there in the front. Challenging for the lead, but Gwen has it right now. Granati barely making the jump. And now he's going to have to switch to keyboard. You can see on the phase cam there, he's going to use just one hand for that turn. Get the Neo slide and another one. And now hands back on the wheel for the final few drifts. Offie with a really strong leader. 0.3 against Gwen. Carl missing the slide. Does Offie get the jump lineup to take his 10 pointer? That looks good. Off he should have this one. Otak, though, could get second. Oh, it will go to Bran. And a 52-9 is a very strong time. Correction, the world record here actually by Otak. 52-3. So a 52 in rounds mode, very respectable time. If you, if you don't know the format, four rounds are played on each track. The players collect points based on how they place. We play until the players reach 120 points. Once they reach 120, they become a finalist. What that means is they need to win one more round to get a spot in the finals. But if they never get that first place after hitting finalists, they don't qualify. So you first got to collect a lot of points and then you have to drive one sick run and win a round. To advance. It's a very tense format. Finalist mode can put you under so much pressure. It can be very hard to get that last victory. Gwen here on a fast run, getting past the corner, off the clipping, but a quick save makes him not lose too much here. But that's a fast time from Gwen. 52 what? 52 6 and a PB from Gwen. As far as we know, Offy sniping away, almost sniping away Granati's spot, but not quite. Yeah, nice times being dropped in chat. That is very hard to compete against. Probably beats some players' personal bests. And a weak start for Carl. Who, uh, as it has been said multiple times, he does have food poisoning on his uh, trip to Europe right now. And uh, it's looking like that has impacted his preparation quite a lot. Down in last here once again, and Gwen continuing his pace from the round before. Leading through the tire, 
section. Oh, if he hit the wall in the exit, that's going to be a lot less speed for the cave. Ran now up into second place. And the more speed you get for this last turn, the better. But how much do you dare to push with Otak lining it up, getting a really good jump. To stay in second place here. Sounds like Renati had third under control, and he did. It's good points for him. A personal best even for Granati. And that's a 5404. That was the four rounds of Pneumoni. So Gwen doing quite well for his favorite map. We'll see what comes up next. It should be the same rotation as last time. As the previous semifinal. And if that is the case, then we will have the multi-lap track being played as well. So the players might already know what they're going up on. And it will be Quasimetri. This map is three laps. First lap is a lot easier than second and third lap though. First lap, you can get a safe jump out to the right here. But then, afterwards, in flying laps, you have to jump much further to a precise spot. You have the quarter pipe across, Granati missing the tilt down there and does not land it. It's Gwen again off to the best start. But now you'll see the second lap. The jump across here can be quite tricky. You have to land out on the platform on the left side. Get around the hole and then try to get a low quarter pipe jump once again. Looks like Gwen and Bren both have the setup. Otak with a really beautiful landing. If that one sticks, it will get it. One player is missed from the field. That is Gwen. Not getting the jump and respawning all the way down in seventh. Bren here on fast pace. One more lap to go. Quarrel not quite getting the aim here. Woo! Barely avoiding a mistake. Gets the nose dive. Otax crashed it though. And this is good for Carl. Last place in the match right now, but eight points will do him really well here. <gasps> As I say that, he face plants the last drift. And it's Bren winning with a 123 1. Really nice time. And it will only be Carl in fifth here. Missed that Neo slide there and went straight into the wall. So, Carl Jr. still last in the match. As Otak overtakes for first place with 38 points right now. Ooh, someone crashed the first pillar already. That was Granati, I believe. One checkpoint behind. Rather heave. I made that big mistake in the start. Clean lines from Otak here, hitting his Neo slides. Granati also trying, but he's on keyboard, remember? He plays steering wheel, but for those Neo slides, he has to use keyboard to get them reliably. So that adds an extra layer of difficulty. But he's making it work in lap one. Oh, Tex missed it. Off he has missed it as well. Not the ideal jump. And Granati here is going to go for keyboard in this next turn. Gets a Neo slide there. Neo slide here. And the last turn. And then back to steering wheel on the multi lap. You might start to wonder if it would be better to just play the entire thing on keyboard. But if it ain't broken, don't fix it. He's almost first with this setup. A mistake from Otak comes through, I believe. Granati crashing the jump. Bren and Gwen in a 1v1. Gwen's gonna attack for this. Gets a better setup for this slide. Last turn. Bren is gonna hold the lead. 1-23 for this time, but 10 points to him. Five points for Carl. 
is now equal to heave. But has less than half of the points of first place as of yet, so he needs some better rounds or perhaps better maps from Solf to come back in the game. Ooh. Oh, that is a hard respawn for Gwen. Pursed lips there, not happy with that incident so early into the race, just makes you have to kind of sit out the round and watch the others compete. Very close split here on the first lap though. Five players side by side onto the jump. Glust releasing early, not getting the landing quite right. Offy up in first. Now the setup for the second quarter pipe. Looks like Carl has it really well here. Carl might be challenging for first. He is up there. The five time world champion setting up wide. Trying to get the next drift. This is the one he failed. Going a bit wide and will lose a lot of time here to Otak and Granati. Who is coming back with more speed. Two tenths of a lead still though. As he has disappeared, he makes a mistake on the multi-lap itself. Ooh, that is not good for Carl Jr. And now Otak could get first place in the match once again. Oh, but he makes a mistake. Renardi's up in first. Last drift. He has less speed. He misses it. Who's going to win? Off he has it by two hundredths of a second. And only an unfortunate sixth place for Carl there. Did not make much progress. World record is a 122, I believe. From Gwen, actually. Don't know the exact split, but he is the world record holder. So we see a very shaky line from Gloss. Ooh, and he has to back out of the drift too. Good save though. So does put him out of contention for first place. Risky jump from Offy, but that's gonna pay off. Catch up to one and gets very close to challenging for first. Quarter pipe jump across. We, But not quite. Both Bren and Offy make a mistake. Gwen in a clear lead now before lap three. Also very fast splits here. This is on pace for a 122 if Gwen gets a good last lap. Granati's driving a clean run of his own and he's almost a second behind. But this is that Gwen pace that can be so obnoxious to play against. Over a second out of everyone. No one quite close to this. This is a fast time. What is the final time here, Gwen? Jesus Christ. 122.38. Only two tenths for his world record. Two tenths away from his own world record. But insane pace. Gwen the Menace. Smile for the cameras. Takes the lead of the game after two maps were played. Already had his favorite map and a map he had world record on. So we'll see how he fares on... The trial map, I believe that is the one coming up either now or after this one. But the trial map can really shake things up. This is so different from the other maps, it is perhaps the most difficult map to drive consistently. With all the different tricks you have to do here. Let's see if they know the upside down strategy that we saw in the last game. No one, as far as I can tell, doing it. We saw Dofault and Legu do it last game. But none of them qualified to the final. Gwen getting some good nose dives here on each job. Granati falling off the pipe. Sigh of frustration. As he loses 18 seconds in that one mistake. 
Gwen with a clean bog slide there, up in first. Now he has to go down to the left. And his car was tilting to the right, so I think Glus can come back here, catch up. Oh, Gwen not getting the wheel on, gets passed by Heave and Glus. Oh, but he has the best landing on the curved wall ride. Will he get this one? Yes, he will. First place for Gwen. Halfway through the map, now he's gonna drive through the entire Ascension logo. Skipping across to the C here. Oh, Fee! Ooh. Can he climb the wheel? Ooh, good save. Carl up in third. But his car is bumping a bit weirdly here. Down to fourth now. Gwen leading by over a second. Oh! Good save. This map really is more about survival than anything else. If you fail here, the next respawn is eight is away. And now for Gwen and Glust, it is a massive quarter pipe jump up left. Where you need to land with a lot of speed for the final shortcut jump. Do they have the lineup? Glust going too far. That is too far. He has to slow down so much and he might still not make it here. Gwen should have it. Does Glust have enough speed? Ooh, good release from Glass to make sure that he didn't jump too far. Gwen, though, taking another 10-pointer. Continuing the winning streak here. Off he made it. Carl made it. Renati with 28 seconds to go. Should be finishing. And he does get to the end here. Otak as well is gonna finish with the long way around. And Heave... Oh, Heave snipes! For that 7th place, one extra point gained. Gwen now halfway to the 120 points he needs. 64 so far. Gwen jumping very far here. Does he land it? He does. That puts him instantly into first. Last round he also went for a bug slide at the end of this stretch. Just jumping off to the right immediately. Bug sliding to catch the landing and then going. As you see some others go over the top here. To give themselves the speed. Looks like Gwen also had a good aim for this left wall and he is zooming far away into the lead also lands the curved wall granati misses it but offy and bren are on the pursuit they both got it but they're two and three seconds behind onto the logo onto the sea offy clipping a little bit but bren is catching up massively here already gained about a second if not more towards gwen and this is doable, he can challenge for this. Very good on RPG tracks, Bren. You might have seen it in Deep Dip, the tower map when he was just rushing up to the top every time. This is a map very similar in style. And he is catching to Gwen in every segment here. And with a better quarter pipe jump, he can snipe this away. He's made up two seconds. And now... Is he going too short here? No, that looks just about perfect. You can tell by the little pinpoint aim in the middle, and he passes Gwen here. Ooh, has to release a little bit though. It's finicky. No! Bren off the side. He will get third. But it could have been a 10 pointer. Gwen continuing to win here. Another win on this map. Slightly too fast in the landing there. Oh, Carl having to go a bit slower. Seventy-four now for Glenn. And the others are right around the fifty mark, and then a huge gap down to Carl Jr. and Heath, who haven't gotten the greatest start to the match in twenty-seven points each. Oh. Gwen actually getting a uh, landing feature there, where the game throws his car to the side. 
Even though he landed on the plank. A feature of the game. So that will make him lose a little bit of time, but what a bug slide. What a bug slide to recover the lost time. Very risky line. That's why the other players don't go for it. And a clean landing as well. Glad has no mercy for the others here. He is going to go to the finals on his own terms, rushing through the maps. 10 pointers after 10 pointers. He's on for a massive performance today, if this continues. But keep in mind, Bren caught two seconds here last time, and he's only one second behind now. And now he's only half a second behind. Bren is catching up quickly. This is the part of the map where Bren was gaining so much time. Oh, and it's gonna continue, I think. Unless he's made a mistake. Bren could be coming right up next to Gwen here. In the final sector. As you see him go a little too fast. Oh, that's a big respawn. Bren again risking to try to get 10 points. <laughs> that is uh, a long jump. <laughs> but you love to hear the crowd. Gwen taking another 10 points. It's a big jump. You gotta have fun for the entire jump. No short wees to be had here. Glust in second, Granati in third, despite a plus 10 difference. Oh, massive landing for Carl to snipe away. Fourth place, I believe. Oh, fifth, rather. Ooh. Brad getting fourth. So we'll have the last round of the trial map here. Gwen now with a 25 point lead to the opponents, but everyone else is very close. And keep in mind the top four advance. So if Gwen happens to run away with this, the others will still have a very close game for the other spots. Gwen releasing here, making sure he doesn't get the landing feature this time. Building up a lot of speed here. And then the bug slide. Ooh. Deep breath there. Very happy to have landed that all four rounds in a row without fault. The trick there too. Landing with the two wheels off the edge and then having the car tilt with them back. Oh no. Good save. And what he's doing right now is not easy. I I, ha I can't overstate how difficult these maps are to drive consistently. To even finish this once can take me like five minutes. And I consider myself decent at the game, right? Like one-shotting all these parts, doing it fast and under so much pressure on a stage is something else. It's a three second lead before the quarter pipe jump. Can he get the quad victory? 40 out of 40 points here. Looks good. <laughs> you love to hear it. And he will get 40 out of 40 possible points in this map. Consistently in the 150 range. Granati getting an important second place there. It's gonna put him very close to second place in the match. Carl getting six points for third, also really good. Bren also making it. Otak will be finishing as well, and Heave, I'm not too sure. He's two seconds behind, although his name tag's there. Not quite gonna make it. 
Ouais, il était premier avant la map, non Il était premier avant la map et euh, très à logo, il a fait très mal. Il était premier juste avant la map, effectivement, parce que c'est ce que je disais, je disais très à logo, c'est la map qui va vraiment pas inverser le numéro, en tout cas qui va euh, amener des joueurs à un point où il n'était pas forcément. Euh, But now it should be the grotto. The grotesque map, as it has its name. Very, very competitive map, not a lot of obstacles. Uh, like this map, and uh, a lot closer rounds. And for Carl Jr., I think this is a map he must perform on. Bren has the world record on it, but for Carl, this is like. To come back in the game, he needs a good performance here. It's a very uh, drivable map. You have the shortcut in the start. Otak and Brent both doing it. They clip the wheel off a little bit on the penalty grass there to get more speed. And they will get up to about first place after that small little trick. Setting up wide here to get a lot of speed towards the road. You can already see Carl is up there. Otek and Brando, the two Carmine Core players with the best stars. Otek having a great approach for that. I don't know what this chant is, but it's interesting. Otak and Brand side by side. Carl there as well. Close with Granati, last flip here. Looks like Brand has it. Apparently it's yeah, 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 they're saying. In French. Second round here. Both Carmine Core players, Bren and Otak. Not teammates in this game, but you can tell that they have the same lines and they've been preparing for this game. Face plant from Bren, I believe. Puts him out of the fight. Heave leading this one. Very important for Heave to get some points here. And he is tied with Offy for a second. Granati with a slight lead into the cave. Getting passed by Offy now though. Great line from Offy once again. Low air time. Clean transitions. Offy extending ahead. The last flip. Is it there? He goes too wide. And he... F I don't even know if he finished. I don't think he did. Oh, he got second, I think. I think he got second place. It just a uh, weird scoreboard. I'm not sure about that, though. A little bit weird on the display, but I think Offy did complete the run. But look at how close it is. 103, and then there are five players within three points on the leaderboard. It is so close for the qualifying spots here. And Gwen hasn't had any insane performances on this yet. So that does let the others have an opportunity to catch back up, but now he might score big. He has a better landing than Bran here. But Bran is getting really good transitions. Last flip. Otak with a clean one. And it looked like Gwen missed. Gwen did miss. Gwen missed the last flip from potential second down to seventh. Otak now in a clear second place. What is the world record? 50.19 from Bren. It's the uh, world record on the track. But that is with a perfect skip in the start, like the one he just got now. 
Although maybe a little bit more speed on the grass lining too. Keep getting a really clean transition there. Has caught up a little bit in this game to Carl. Almost now fighting for seventh. Carl in last this round. Bren with a great start, all things considered. One tenth out of everyone else. Cutting across here to the road, getting a small drift from speed. Now you want to land as flat as you can. Ooh, that looks good. Oltec pushing closer to heave. Last flip. Gonna snipe lost at least. But a great time from Bren. Was that four rounds already? Was that the fourth of this map? God, this game is progressing fast. That means we're going to the dirt map. Very interested to see who is gonna get consistent on this. I think Offy said that this was his favorite map. He did. Offy, the only player to say that this is his favorite. <laughs> Are there more matches after this one? Yes, this is the second semi-final. The top four players here go into the finals to play a eight-player match to see who wins today. And the final is played in a knockout format. Everyone starts with three health points. And if you get last place in a round, you lose one HP. And then the last player standing wins. So it's kind of like couple today, but you have three lives. It's going to be very interesting to see how it works. So the final here will come down to a 1v1 between two players. Carl is looking pretty uh, sick, yeah, he can only make the most of it. But there is also one more qualifier in about two months time that he could play. Granati missing the uh, landing a little bit. That shortcut is very difficult. Glenn and Bren both getting it nicely. Bren into the wall though, off the, off the edge. Bren's still in second, I believe. And Gwen has a massive lead. This is going to put him so close to finalist. Oh, is it? It's low here. Glust is going to get close. Second bug slide. Uh, not ideal here. Gwen's lead is diminishing. But he still has seven tenths. Gwen still takes it, 118 points, Gloss! Very close. Afi not getting a great start to his favorite map. Afi's personal best here is 15.95. So two seconds faster than Gwen's winning time. But a lot hinges on that first shortcut. Now you have to land with the nose almost straight down but not quite so the car kind of rolls off of it with a lot of speed keep the gear drift and then jump into the checkpoint down here with enough speed that you land Gwen getting it clean once again perfect execution into the marketplace just weaving in between the pillars so clean and Gwen is looking all but poised honestly to go to the finals this has been a dominant performance and he's going to keep Performing despite only needing two points here, could get another ta and Granati is close, and the steering wheel is the best device you could have for a surface like this. Dirt, slow dirt, where you can no slide. Oh, he slides out a little bit. Not what he was hoping for. Gets passed by Brandon. Third place for Granati. But Gwen has hit 120 points. The way it now works. 
is he's gonna hit finalist mode. He can no longer gain points. The only thing he has to do is win one more round to secure his spot in the finals. If he cannot get a first place, he cannot get to the finals. He has to get one first place to qualify here. Oh, that's too low speed, I think. If he makes it, that's crazy. Ah, and the first finals attempt is squandered. Went a little too tight. A little bit too tight, too low speed, and he will not be closing out the first chance. Oh, Brad, beautiful bug slide. Just barely catching the uh, checkpoint there while, while getting through. Clean, no slides here. That's going to be a good time, too. Granati fighting heat for second. And Granati has been consistently gaining. Brad face planted with a one second lead. 10 points to Granati this round. Very unfortunate for Bran. From first to fifth there. Why are they booing? I actually don't know. It's when they go through the marketplace. I am not French enough to understand. Gwen with a lot of speed might make the jump. I think he will. With a massive lead too. Could this be Glenn's final ticket? Goes for the safe line. Didn't want to risk the triangle. Uffy wanted to and he gets first place for now. Uffy hits the checkpoint though and Glenn's going to pass him here likely with more speed. Very close here. Can Uffy deny Glenn the finalist spot? If Uffy gets first, Glenn has to play on. Uffy with a clean no slide all the way around and Uffy denies Glenn here. He's not out of the game yet. Bran gets one point, Otak gets four. They are just inching closer and closer to 120 themselves. But Gwen still has a lot of time for this. Still has a lot of time. 107 is the closest opponent. And now we go to the bug slide map. We've seen a lot of bug slides already, but you haven't quite seen. Premier et toi. Premier et toi is um, a very difficult bug slide map. Tons of shortcuts here. I don't think a lot of players in this field have it as their favorite. No player in this field says it's their favorite map. But this map is unforgiving. It starts with a bug slide through the checkpoint in the middle there. And then you have a 360, if you will, into a jump and another bug slide. And for this one, you have to carry enough speed that you can jump across to the dirt and land in a third bug slide. Offy getting it so well, tilting his car over the edge as well to carry speed half a second out of Gwen. Jumping quite far though, less speed for the downhill drop. That's a bit scary. But he will stick the landing. Glossed, tilting a bit. And Granati catches up to Gwen for second. Now the very important plastic hit at the end of the turn here. You gotta get pushed towards the bobsleigh. Entry off he has it so well. He's gonna extend ahead. And Gwen will keep second place here very likely. With that bobsleigh line. Oh, great jump for Granati though. 
onto the reactor. You don't want to drive too fast here. You want the reactor booster to expire just as you go for this jump. So it pulls you down into the checkpoint. They both get it well. Off he looks poised for first here. Last three checkpoints down the hill. The slalom. Granati can snipe. Granati with more speed. Second place for Granati. Important eight points. By four hundredths of a second. And Carl Jr. here really struggling. If you guys aren't aware, he does have food poisoning right now and it is evident it is playing a part because this is not the Carl Jr. we usually see. So uh, very unfortunate for Carl Jr. But there is the second qualifier where he can still get through. Glenn releasing that bug slide quite early. Does he have the speed for the second one now? To make it to the dirt road, I'm not sure. That is difficult. Goes for a very high jump to make sure he gets there. And loses a bit of time. He even glossed in top two. Glossed with the best landing. And this is massive for Gloss if he can hold this lead. Can keep up with the others and hit finalist at about the same time because it's going to go into a sudden death format very soon with this many people close to 120 points. Over a second of a lead, but look at the speed from Glenn. Oh no, Heave, you're in trouble. There's a fast finalist approaching, hits the wall though, makes it a bit more awkward. Can he get the low jump here? Nothing to lose at this point. Oh, but too late, and a respawn, a respawn from Glust means he is the only thing stopping Gwen from going to the finals right now. Last three turns, Heave denies him. And Gwen, so close, you can tell he's frustrated. The second time now, he's been just one position away from getting to the final. Brandon 114, Granadion 113, Afi 112, Otak 112. They're all gonna hit finalists soon, but Gwen might be able to close out here. Carl Jr. is approaching though. Jumps a bit too far, I think. Gwen might pass him at speed. And Gloss as well. Huge for Gloss once again if he gets to this. Oh, Gloss clipped. He's gonna be slow. It's not <coughs> it's not gonna be Gloss this round. Carl still in first. Can Carl deny Gwen? Clips. Glenn is first. Glenn, oh, the flip. Glenn still first. What a save. Gwen is going to go to the finals with this. Last jump. Clips a bit. Still gets there. The look on his face there, couldn't quite believe he was still first. Stressful situation, but he makes it to the finals. And I'm losing my voice. We still have one more game after this, I need it to hold. <laughs> In the meantime, Bren did hit finalist of his own. Takes a more safe approach here, but ensures the second bug slide. And he is in second. It's only Heave ahead. <gasps> and that is what he was hoping for. That is what might put him in the finals. Carl Jr. is quite far behind. One second to spare. 
Great plastic hit for Brandon. He's gonna have more speed than Carl here. The lead will extend. It's only the reactor jump, I believe, that can stop him now. He knows it. Intense concentration before the reactor. Around the hole, around the second hole. It looks good for Brad here. Who makes the jump? Glass part. One final jump for Bran, and he's in. Joins Gwen in the finals in just one attempt, and all the elation is coming through. And a cheeky smile. Two spots are claimed and two remain. And since Uffy was close, I believe he might have secured a finalist spot of his own here. We gotta see the points here to get the full overview, but Grenadi's close. Ah, he's also very close to finalist. As we go to Grenadi's favorite map. Granati listed this as his favorite. It's a no slide heavy map and this suits him very well on the steering wheel. So we go into the first round of it. Granati's finalist, Uffy's two points away. This could be Granati's big moment. He slides out in round one though and has to respawn. And now, opportunity for Afi, opportunity. Old Tak, who's respawned as well. Maybe Gloss can score a lot of points here. They have to do a skip between the threes here. Ice 360 in between. Those evergreens, he even took point. And it looks like Afi has it. Afi will be finalist. Gloss will be two points away. Anything can still happen. Also from the translations we're getting, the crowd is booing the casters for cursing the players, not the players for crashing. The crowd is uh, not having it with these caster curses. But second time around, Uffy now with the red badge, Grenadi's nowhere to be seen in the top four, has dropped down four tenths of a second. And Otak is now trying to claim his spot. But it is Afi with the most speed up the hill. Afi will be in first before the Ice 360. Can he hit it under pressure? He clips the tree. Carl Jr. in first. Granati in second. But Carl could deny him here and Carl will deny him. Carl Jr. with 10 points. He is not out yet. If he can delay this game a few more rounds, he could get to 120. Food poisoning. Time being, you know, he gets jet lagged from traveling from Canada to Paris. A lot of things are not ideal, but still he's found himself at 100 points now. Two victories in a row can get him to 120 himself. <gasps> Clip from Granati, I think, or at least someone behind the scoreboard. Who was it? Otak has clipped. Glust has clipped as well. Granati has the best start this time, and he had a clean ending. 
Very opportune moment for Granati right now. But Gloss gets a better jump. Otak as well. Three, four finalists in the top four. Someone's going through this round. Undoubtedly, unless Carl, Carl can stop them. Uffy. First on the 360 hits the tree. Still first, but a weak ice slide. Carl Jr. coming through. Last off pill and Carl Jr. with not again. Carl is only two wins away from making it to the finals, despite looking so out of it. And if there's one player in this game who builds off the momentum, it is Carl Jr. He can feel it right now. He can feel it, he can sense it. He releases a bit early on in this round though, and that is scary. That might put him out of the fight. A lot of speed for Uffy, a lot of speed for Otak. Granati behind. Carl drop point three. And Heave is in third. I don't know if they can deny here. Otak and Uffy have such a strong lead. One of them might advance here. Last ice 360. Will it be Otak or Afi? Afi slides out. Otak misses. Carl misses. Glossed is through, I believe. Gloss will go to the finals. One of the underdogs will take down the TMGL players. He can't believe it. He cannot believe what he's seeing right now. Six TMGL players in the match, and he beat most of them to go to the finals himself. One of the best accomplishments in his career, no doubt. Amazing to see. So happy for Gloss. One spot remains. Otak, Afi, and Granati are all finalists. Heave is close and Carl is close as well. Pressure's on now. Last spot. Pressure is on for all the players. And we are back on the first map. New money will be the last map. This was not a good map for Carl Jr. The rotation comes back around. And we are underway, no warm up. This could be it. This could very well be it. Heave with the best start though, and he is not finalist. Oh, but he bounced. Off he bounces as well. That could be it. Granati is in first. Otak close to follow, but they have a massive gap to Carl Jr. It's going to come down to a race between Otak and Granati, I believe. Neo slides on keyboard for Granati. He hits it just as good as Otak on controller. Now through the tire maze. Up and down. Last drift here. Otak has a lot of speed. The last turn, does he hit the approach? Granati's coming on with a lot of speed. Granati, does he get the checkpoint? That's a weird angle. He gets it. He has to go wide. No! Otak will be the last finalist. So much speed, but the approach wasn't there. The approach was missing by a little bit. Insane semi-final. 
everyone play their heart out and you can see the respect they have for each other. Great game played all around. The very unfortunate for Grenadi, Carl Heath. And Uffy, who will be eliminated. But Gwen Glust. <coughs> Otak. And Bren will be joining Arthur Binks, Rosal, and Charlotte in the finals. My voice needs to hold for one more game. It's gonna be interesting to see if it does. I still have a cold, so you know, we'll see if it if it holds up, but the finals are coming up right after this, everybody. Right after this, in about 10 minutes time, we're gonna have the finals. They will be competing for a $6,000 prize pool today, for first place. Total, it's In total, it's at $20,000, but $6,000 to first. And um, the winner also qualifies for the finals of the tournament in Montpellier, which is for 89,000 euros, the biggest tournament we've ever had. So let's see if uh, we get the updated results on Liquipedia in a second so I can show it to you. But we will also get an interview here, I believe. So I will now translate as best as I can. With the help of production. Uh, <laughs> uh, Gwen! <laughs> Au début, t'étais là. T'étais en Netflix and chill, t'étais posé, t'étais tranquille. Et au fur et à mesure, il y a eu un peu de peur. Comment t'as vécu ton match T'as été extrêmement fort et très impressionnant. Mais on s'est fait peur sur la fin. Comment Est-ce que tu peux nous raconter ce que t'as fait euh, bah, Honnêtement, le début du match, c'était vraiment voir euh, ce que faisaient les autres, voir ce que je pouvais faire. Et so, Gwen, à first you were chill ensuite, euh, and then quiet in a bad position. Bah, j ai, j ai pas What happened J'aurais voulu dès les premières, vu que c'était mes meilleurs. Et la trial, euh, je me suis refocus. J'ai tout donné, ça s'est bien passé. Et ensuite, bah, je savais que les maps de finalistes, c'était vraiment pas celle que je préférais pour finir premier. Ah, donc tu n'aimes pas première étoile. Let's go <rire> At first, it was quite Let's good, go, Gwen Sass. Wow, C'est une dingue de traiteur like comme ça, frère. Je n'aime pas première étoile, mais j'ai réussi à revenir. Et le serrateur est heureux que Gwen ne l'aime pas première étoile. Non, mais c'est bon, t'inquiète. Voilà, gars. Parce que la seule map qui est construite par étoile. Non, mais c'est intéressant d'avoir l'analyse des meilleurs joueurs. Etoile Etoile Non, mais c'est trop chiant. Etoile. Première étoile. Et, right. et ensuite, tu as réussi à, à, te, à, à te démarquer sur les autres maps. C'était quand même très, très, très fort. Comment tu, sens, comment tu sens la finale Je pense que tu es très content. So how do you feel for the final, mais comment tu sens Là, dans ta tête, tu es encore focus. Tu as envie d'aller chercher ce site 1 et le cash price. Bah, euh, c'est sûr, mais la finale, vu que c'est complètement un mode différent, ça va jouer complètement différemment. Et je sais pas vraiment, on va voir. Hein, ça va être. Ah, c'est un différent mode. We'll see. Donc, euh, I don't really know who it will be. La régularité va être importante. Bah, merci à toi, Gwen. That will win. Va will be the best. Avant ta finale qui arrive dans pas longtemps. Et toi, Wally. Oh, I think I have it. Et toi, Wally. Mon, euh, mon cher Glass. Mon cher Glass, je suis très très content personnellement. Well played, Glass. How do you feel? Comment tu l'as vécu? J'ai vu qu'à la fin. Et toi, Wally. Est-ce que c'est la vraie C'est fun to say it. It's fun ouais. to say when you know it's it. Euh, en fait, je pense que j'ai jamais autant tremblé. Genre vraiment, c'était un, un match incroyable. Enfin, j'ai eu la chance de jouer incroyable. contre euh, les meilleurs joueurs euh, du monde sur Trackmania. Donc, euh, c'était un match de fou. Et There are oui, so many good Trackmania players, players in this match. Je croyais pas. Je crois que j'ai eu le plus public dans la bite. Regardez, hein. je me suis dit, c'est pas possible. Je peux pas y croire. Je peux pas y croire. I never ah, shook that much. En, en de map pack, I had the chance to play against the best players in the, the world. I didn't believe it when I qualified. Alors, en gros, moi, je pensais être en retard au début. And now he's being asked about the maps. Et au final, j'arrivais à faire mes petites places. Je me suis dit bon, garde le temps. Et à la fin, j'avais des bonnes maps parce que j'aime bien la map 1, j'aime bien ta map. Du What? coup, je me suis dit. Allô? Ouais. Allô? Ouais. Voilà. Et du coup, je me suis dit bon, euh, le map pack, il est bien, mais en fait, dans It's un match comme ça, c'est bon pour un match, mais vous ne pouvez pas contrôler tout. Parce qu'on ne peut rien contrôler. Et les traders sont comme quoi Bien sûr qu'il y a aussi le rôle des joueurs de Tafrand qui fait peur. Ah, mais... Et je pense que ouais, quand tu mais fais ça, c'est pas n'importe qui. Hein. Oui, bah quand tu voilà. fais ça, c'est pas n'importe qui. Et encore plus contre les joueurs. Tu tous les joueurs, hein, parce que vraiment, on a eu, on a eu une performance incroyable. Quoi Mes maps sont inconsistentes Je vais prendre beaucoup plus de ton temps. J'espère que tu vas pouvoir te reposer pour la finale, parce que la finale sera importante. Elle sera importante cette finale, puisque... Elle jugera ton seed et elle jugera aussi ton cash price parce qu'un petit 5000 balles. What? How dare he insult my map? Le prochain, je le connais bien. 
Je le connais bien le prochain, il a l'habitude de surfer sur les vagues les plus hautes, il a l'habitude de jongler. Et notre cher Brendan, inoxydable, ça fait depuis 80 ans que tu es sur la scène, ça fait depuis 80 ans que tu nous fais rêver, j'en peux plus à chaque fois que je te vois. Bren, qu qu'est-ce qu que tu nous as fait dans ce match Comment t'as ressenti le match T'as été en contrôle, mais sur la fin, tu t'es fait un peu peur. Je me suis fait surtout peur au début, honnêtement. Je me suis rendu compte que ça partait pas très bien. En plus, on était tous collés au point et tout. Il y avait juste Hugo Gwen. Très bois. J'ai réussi à prendre un peu d'avance. Au début, good in the beginning. Euh, pas idéal. Puis après, j'ai réussi à me remettre un peu sur But le later. chemin. Et surtout grâce à ta map, en vrai. J'étais content de l'avoir, moi, pour le coup. Something euh, about a tour, a tour <rire> Alsma. On en peut plus. Ah, juste, Rayou, si, si t'as Bren pas loin, tu peux Il s'est dit, come back, thanks to At Wall's Map. Il a de faire des points dans les matchs maintenant. Oui, par contre, c'est pas normal. Comment ça se fait que t'as branché ta manette New video on history for Grammar. T'intéresse. Dès les premières runs. En fait, t'es. Oh, t'as été fort. Bah, moi, je me souviens d'un Zenith de Strasbourg. Later. Ah, oui, dans ce sens-là. Sens moi, je me souviens d'un Zenith de Strasbourg. Okay. <rire> où, franchement, le début était compliqué. Et moi, j'ai beaucoup aimé. Alors. On va rentrer dans un truc un peu, oh, un peu technique. A... Désolé le chat de vous way. endormir, mais moi ça me fait plaisir de pouvoir parler avec des joueurs de ce calibre. Personne sur, dort, mec. Sur, sur Grotesque, je t'ai trouvé beaucoup plus agressif que d'habitude sur le début. Est-ce que t'as as joué différemment oh. ou je sais pas, j'ai comparé à la qualification, j'ai l'impression que t'as changé de strat. Est-ce que je parle au hasard ou est-ce que c'était le cas Toi, ça, Brad was more aggressive, more aggressive on Grotesque than that. Okay, Et du coup, évidemment, Brad said, yes, I got inspired by the best. Charlie. Et en fait, je te trouvais, en fait, je te trouvais extrêmement rapide parce que vu qu'en plus sur la grotte, t'étais un peu plus agressif et je trouve que t'as pas fait les. My God, I'm excited for the finals now. We need to get a massive prediction going for who's gonna win. Et t'as fait des temps incroyables. Donc bravo à toi. On te retrouvera en finale et on te retrouvera aussi. We need a massive prediction going in a second. Bravo à toi. Et le dernier. Et le dernier. Et le dernier au tac, ça fait Can we already start it? Can we already start like a long prediction? Avec Zerator, t'es un joueur exceptionnel qui parfois a un peu du mal avec la pression, qui parfois a un peu du mal à montrer son niveau de track. Can we hear all tax thoughts here? The clutch. The last spot. Qualifié en dernier, c'était un peu difficile. Dis-moi tout. En fait, bon, clairement, je fais un très bon début de match. Oui. À côté de Gwen, voire devant Gwen. Donc voilà. Aussi, c'était mes maps. Faut dire que c'était toutes mes meilleures maps, sauf. How did you feel, Otak? I did good on the first half, and then your shitty map came. Wow, c'est dingue de dire ça. Et Trialogo, donc danse pas trop là-bas parce qu'il y a plus la merde aussi. It's being quite candid. Your shitty map came up. Oh, y'en a tous autres. Plus sérieusement, j'ai dû faire 8 points sur les deux maps. Ouais, c'était Trialogo. Fair. Ouais, c'est ça. And it's a seriously, I'm better on technical maps. Ok. Je suis plus sur les maps techniques, tu vois. Oh, 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 oh Désolé, mais c'est vrai. Ok, on se 1v1 sur un map tout à l'heure. Ok, euh... sans souci. Oula, on va avec. Mais en tout cas, moi, ce que j'ai trouvé super impressionnant, c'est ta capacité de te reconcentrer après ouais. le logo. Parce que ouais. c'est vrai que t'as fait à peu près 6-7 points sur How do you see your finals, then Et euh, surtout sur une map sur marché pair, où t'as quand même été vraiment honnête ouais. dessus, alors que c'est une map qui demande beaucoup de précision. Comment t'abordes ta finale, du coup Tu sais, normalement, dans le map pack, qu'il y a le reste des maps. C'est quand même très très important d'être bien placé dans cette, très euh, dans cette finale, comment t'abordes ce match Tu ben, plays well, yes Franchement, j'aimerais bien gagner, bah, normal. honnêtement. Oui. Qui est là pour perdre, même oui. <rire> Non, mais franchement, je l'aborde super bien. Après, j'ai une demi un peu dure, j'espère que je vais réussir à me remettre tu vois, mentalement. Ouais, On va voir ce que ça donne. Dans tous les cas, si je prends pas ma couronne... Je pense que si ils parlaient plus lentement, je vais comprendre. C'est très très beau c'est bien. Si je parle un petit peu plus lentement, je peux presque comprendre. Qui sont lourds de sens, mon cher Adrien. Nous allons, j'imagine, faire une petite pause. Mais c'est trop fast, donc j'ai besoin de traduction. Ça marche, mon cher Rayou, reçu. Otak said, I would like to win. Cinq, mesdames et messieurs, alors que je suis au casting desk avec. Honestly, I hope I'm going to perform. But if I don't take my crown now, I'll have it at Montpellier, like the big tournament. Sans Continental, on n'aurait pas pu. I thanks to our sponsors. Merci les pneus. Continental. Donc, Thank euh, you so much for sponsoring this massive tournament. Et, euh, cool tires. I'll also sell out for, for it. Salon, Great tires. Thank you so much, Donc, Continental. Eux, ils ont rajouté du budget pour qu'on puisse vous accueillir ici ce soir. Donc, euh, We need sponsors pour big events like this. It's just a uh, reality. Cool that they want to help. Thank you, Mr. Continental. Exceptionnel. Si vous avez besoin de changer un pneu, n'hésitez pas dans le chat. Il euh, y a toutes les commandes qu'il faut. Mesdames et messieurs, on va faire une petite pause et puis on va se retrouver pour une finale absolument légendaire. Mon cher Rayou, on aura tous nos joueurs qualifiés. We're soon gonna have the finals. A tout de suite But after a quick break. 15 minutes.